Hello and welcome to Pink's Passion. Just like every New Year's ritual, I'm here to share the restyling of this empty corner after storing away our Christmas tree. However, as you can see, things are already looking tad bit different this year. If you remember this wall, it had two wooden shelves and two frames adorning the wall. But my constant craving of changing the decor, I have decided to bring a new look this year. So let's get started with the collage of DIY frames followed by the styling of this corner. So here is the empty corner and the wall where all these DIY frames are waiting to go. I have shared a video of making few of these frames in my previous video. The link will be in the description box below. I am also using some fillers like the mirror and the Ganesha head to put up on the wall here. Starting with the first DIY frame here, which holds quite a heavy brass piece. The small holes in the frame were not sturdy enough to hold the weight, so my husband attached a new sawtooth hanger to hang with. The nail in this hanger fits perfectly fine now to hold the weight on wall. The frame you already see up there on the wall is also a DIY frame. However, it didn't go well with my other frames so I swapped it out. This frame was done by a local roadside vendor in India. So it already has a very sturdy hanger. This red frame is exactly same as the blue one. We had to attach the sawtooth hanger so that it can hold the weight of the brass on the wall. This mirror was love at first sight at HomeSense Canada and it had to come home. Hanging this frame was quite easy. I just used one of the holes here and since it was not heavy, one pushpin worked out fine. Next comes our shadow box frame and if you noticed, I have already removed the not so matchy frame from here. Here comes my favorite distressed DIY frame. The details of making this frame is on our previous video. You can find the link in the description box below. A new Ganesha head from Amazon found his way to our home. This is a Christmas gift from my kids for their brass obsessed mommy. Completing the final look of the wall here with this wooden frame that I actually got from my holidays in Kerala, India. Since we tackled the nailing part of the frames, coming to the styling of this corner now. These two wooden chests are appreciated by many of you in my decor. Today I am letting you peek what I store inside. We actually got these chests shipped from all the way Africa along with many other African souvenirs. These chests hold my all extra decor accessories when I'm not using them in the decor. They are sturdy and quite heavy to bear the weight of all my brass. Beside their practical use of storing, they also add a rustic charm in the corner. I could have also used a fancy console table here in this corner, but instead I explored the new possibilities of inserting what I already had. Moving on with our styling, the very first essential is a runner. I always use my colorful shawls and dupatta for the purpose. Second comes the height. Height is another topic when you are styling. Add accessories with equal heights in decor. If needed, use a book, bajot or a stand to add some height. Here you can see buddhaji and plant are aligned almost the same. Since I already had height in the background, I opted for smaller accessories in the front. And you know my route of styling always leads to brass. You can experiment the same styling with the things you already own because experimenting is always fun and a little risk just adds to the drama. And as you know, my styling of vignette or corners cannot be completed without plants or flowers. I'm using every possible surface here to add the green touch. The corner is now ready. Styling is a completely personal thing. You just have to be confident in letting it shine in your home. Be bold and personal with your design choices. 
and create spaces that you love to live in. Hi! I truly hope you enjoyed this makeover and this video. I'll be back very soon with another video. Until then, toodles!